There we are. I think because we have meat, meat. Uh, and we have an amount of spoiled meat. I mean, I'm assuming the, the scorpion is going to... Oh my god! It's right here. Go to sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Standard Nerds Extinction Core server. So, it's been a while since I've uh, made any videos for my channel. That was ill last week, but uh, I'm feeling much better now. So I thought I'd crack on with some more Ark. So, uh, lesson learned as well, when you're ill and you haven't had enough coffee, don't mess with the server. Because I managed to delete our map data, basically, and um, so we had to start again. So we re rebuilt our little starter house. Looks like the guys have been pretty busy. T-Rex, Bronto in the distance. That's an alpha, alpha triceratops. But yeah, so we re rebuilt the house. Oh, we've got power in now. This is good. Yeah, guys have been very busy. So I thought what we would do today is we would just have a, a bit of a fly around. Oh, make sure I've got some food. It's everybody sleeping in piles. Is there any food? Ooh, cooked prime. We're really going to have to take cooked prime out for my grub. Okay. So maybe we'll do a bit of that today as well. But I thought we would have a little fly around um, and have a look at the map. See what areas we've got. So... Tame wise, we've just got the one uh, Tyrannodon here. And if I can. Can I get around you? Can I? Uh, uh, uh. And this. This guy. It's a Prime Dimorphodon, which you can ride. And um, she's a lot like an Argentavis, so I haven't tamed an RG yet. Um, because she will do just fine. So, let's have a little look around. Zoom out a bit. So, we started in the southwest area of the Isocrystal Isles map. And that's this area here. Sort of small islands. Now, the Extinction Core mod has um, other NPC tribes. And they seem a little overpowered to me. They can trank you out very, 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 very quickly. So I'm going to be quite careful as I fly around. But we'll see what we can find. This this is probably the easier of all the starting areas, I think, where you can spawn at the beginning. Even though everywhere is basically deadly right at the start. Even dodos can kill you. And there are turkeys that like to join in when you're fighting stuff. Let's see if I can find any of these NPC tribe people. They hang out around the beaches and they have um, dinosaurs with banners. And they're pretty bad news. Oh, there's an alpha trike over here. Have a little look. Oh, see, we can't, can't see through your stupid fat head. It's a level 500 alpha triceratops. We'll leave it alone. So this map has, I think, most of the biomes, or all of the biomes. As you can see, I've explored a little bit. Uh, which way are we going? We are going the wrong way. Let's go this way. And see, uh, we'll head to the desert biome, which is over here. I think the desert appears to have what I would consider maybe the highest level, or like the highest tier of the... Um, NPC tribes, the black tribe are over there. Uh, they have a tendency to be roaming around in the desert with rocket launchers mopping up all the dinosaurs. Um, but also in the desert we should be able to find uh, another mod that we've added recently which is the Colossus Scorpius which is a humongous uh, scorpion which is rideable and tameable, but you can put a platform saddle on it as well. And uh, they're really cool. So I thought we could 
Fly over here. If we see a decent level one, I might even tame it. We'll just have to see what there is. Cool little oasis at the uh, coast side of the desert. I was thinking of a place where I can set up a permanent base, actually. And this area looks quite cool. Rather than building up all the time. But mm, it'd be quite close to the desert. So yeah, there are a few canyons over there. That's where the wyverns live in that in that cave right in the rocks right there. And this is the start of the dunes. Uh, fly up a little bit. Uh, there's a little scorpion. Okay, I'm going to have a little fly around the desert. See if I can find... Oh, hello. Skeletal Brontosaurus. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a Colossus Scorpius to show you guys. And... Uh, We'll be right back. And we're back. Thought I'd bring you back. Found a Dodo Rex in the desert. I think it's a Dodo Rex. Ooh. Let me see if I can see it through my Dimorphodon's head. Yeah, level 600 Dodo Rex. Only 10 million Torpor. What's it fighting? Because whatever it's fighting is making its Torpor go up. Is it just little scorpions? that. Oh, mantises. <laughs> right, well I think we'll leave them to it and we'll continue our search for the legendary Colossus Scorpius. We're back. Look. Oh, just in time for night. Hang on. Gamma. Three. There we are. You can see now. And there's one. Finally found one. Been searching for ages. That wolf and that dilo worry me a little bit. And the fact that there's all, oh, there's raptors and all sorts here. I think I can probably. Hmm. I think I need to take care of these little things first. Let's see what level everything is from the back here. 850 dilo. That's the wolf. Where is the wolf? There he is. Oh, 1350 direwolf. What level's the scorpion? 1500. Very nice. Um, pretty dangerous everywhere. Let's see if I can land up here. So we've got the extended narcotics mod here. So I've got, I think it's red ones. But we should be able to knock these out pretty quick. My damage seems a bit low. I remember it being a bit, a bit higher than that. Um, right. Where are we? Over there. Okay, let's try this. So we've got the pickup mod on here now. So can pop him on my shoulder. It's even smaller than a normal Dimorphodon. Um, right, let's get... Oh, God, what? Why? Why? Typical. These are bad enough when they're level 10. Stupid things. Come on. Die. Die. I mean, they're seriously big for ants anyway. There we go, it's dead. Can I have your bits? Thank you. Right. This scorpion's messing everything up down here. Right, let's see, maybe. Can we... Is that the wolf? That is the wolf. How much torpor does that have? Not very much. We might be able to tame this as well. Um, here it comes. Oh, in fact, yep, we can knock it straight out. That's good. Uh, oh no. Hang on. There we are. I think because we have meat, meat. Uh, and we have an amount of spoiled meat. I mean, I'm assuming the, the scorpion is going to... Oh my god! It's right here. Go to sleep. It doesn't seem to be too interested in me, actually. Oh, and it's asleep. 
How quickly is this thing going to wake up? Not very quickly. Is that going to be... That's going to be fine. Right, let's go over here to this dire wolf now. 1350 is pretty good. That'll be really handy. We'll, um, we'll do that. Right, um, right, let's have a quick look around, make sure there's nothing here that's going to come and mess up this tame. There's that dilo. Let's get this dilo. Go to sleep. Excellent. So, right, I'll get this guy killed and we'll get these guys tamed up. And um, I'll bring you back. Ooh. And we've done it. She's up. Uh, Doris. There we go. Perfect name for a huge scorpion. There she is. Okay, I killed the wolf because uh, there wasn't going to be any way for me to get it. It's that noise. Is it you? I'm, you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to. Have I got the. I've got the pickup tool on me. Good, good. We're going to drop this guy on my shoulder and we're going to fly away from the desert because it's scary. I'd like to know what that is making that noise. Go over here. There's that music again. It's making that noise. Oh well. Oh. See, there we go. That's Black Tribes people with a tamed flaming Dodo Rex. And they all seem to be armed with rocket launchers. Is it this Dodo that's making this music? Is this a zombie Dodo? Are you a zombie Dodo? Ooh, yes, yeah, certainly not a normal Dodo. That's hitting me really hard. Oh, run away. Bad, bad news. Bad Dodo. Okay. Let's continue our little exploration. Get away from this evil desert. Ooh. We'll check out the big scorpion in a while. Now this area over here doesn't look like it's finished yet. It's just flat geometry. So I'm not going to go over there. But uh, hopefully there'll be an update at some point and um, this bit will be all finished. I mean there's parts of the map that are finished now that weren't when I last played so. Okay let's uh, let's head on over this way then. We've seen the desert now. I'm not going near the Wyvern Cave which is that kind of rock structure in the middle of the screen there. So our base is over there towards the, is that the, I think it's the blue obelisk. This is the green obelisk, even though the beam of light is red, the obelisk is green, I think. Well, it has green on it. Doesn't really matter. We've, oh. See, more tribes of people down there with rocket launchers. Let's get away, away from these. Okay, so, oh, here we are over here with, uh, around this obelisk area. Looks like a uh, swamp. Oh, there's something big enough to knock trees down over there. Um, but with these cool red trees. Now, some of these seem to glow at night. So this whole area is really cool looking at night. We've got over here. Got these red crystals as well. I wonder if... Um... Hello, Parasaur. Another Parasaur. I don't want to get caught unawares. What we've got around here. All right. Oh, it looks like we've got lots of obsidian here. Oh, there's a phoenix over there. Let's see what we get out of these red crystals. What do we get? Just the normal... Just the normal crystal stuff. How about you? You're just normal stone. Okay, I might grab some of this uh, obsidian while we're here. A little. Bam. Any more? Some here. Bam. That'll do. It's a little top up. Doesn't seem to be much going on over here. Pretty quiet. Maybe this will be a good area for a, a more permanent base for us. 
There's lava flows and things over here. This is pretty cool. See if there are any interesting dinosaurs that would maybe give us a hard time if this is where we lived. Oh, there are purple crystals. I wonder what these purple these purple ones give us anything different. Let's have a look. A little framey. Oh, I got cactus sap out of that one. One cactus sap, though, so let's not get too excited about that. Right, what else have we got? This area is really cool. I like it. I might, might build here. We'll see. We'll do a, a building episode soon enough, and we'll get our base sorted. But now I just wanted to have a bit of an explore around this really quite cool looking map. This mountain's really awesome. Lots of more loading happening. Now this area right in front of me looks pretty scary. Um, and I know for a fact that the floating islands area wasn't finished when I last looked at this map. Oh there's a wyvern down there. I'm going to need to be pretty careful. Because we're getting into some pretty dangerous territory now. I was hoping to see some more interesting dinos from the uh, Extinction Core while we were out. And so far all we've seen is a Dodo Rex. Which is a little disappointing. Okay, so it finally stopped raining and the fog went away. So I thought I'd bring you back and show you the really awesome floating islands area of the map. These little rocks bobbing around. What was that noise? There was definitely a noise then. Maybe it's the huge scorpion I've got on my shoulder still. But let's have a look around here. There don't appear to be any dinosaurs on these little smaller islands. Can you land on these okay? You can. Nice. This might be an interesting place to live now that we've got flyers and we do have we do have the teleporter mod which I need to get some bits and pieces sorted out for. This is a really awesome area. Ooh, some kind of cavey bit with some metal. There's metal over here. Obviously all of these crystals give crystal. Wow, this is awesome in here. Very detailed, lots of vegetation. I don't really like the idea of building inside though. I think I'll save that for aberration, which I'm getting quite excited about now. We're getting closer and closer to the announced release date. I say that with trepidation, as we all know exactly what Wildcard are like when it comes to naming names and dates and things. So soon, we'll just say soon, and um, I'm hoping to do a series with that. Uh, so I've got a lot of this to play between now and then. Okay, we've got metal all over and crystal. These orange crystals. And we're back. Ooh, it just got scary and dark. So this is the scary looking island. I don't want to get I want to be really careful while I'm over here. Because uh, I'm sure if there is anywhere on this map where there are things that can one-shot me, this would be the place. Oh, there we go. We've got some... The interesting... There's a boss or something similar music. Or a zombie dodo. Oh, what's that? What does that say? Scion of Fire, level 1500. Oh, there's a Maguna Guardian Deity of Fire. 
Is that even? Can I see? No. His big fat head is in the way. Interesting. All seems to be mountainy though. Oh my word, what is that? Is that a giant vulture? Can't see. It does look like a giant vulture. Might have to get into some of that. I don't really want to get too much closer to them. That looks uh, like it might be the end of me if I did. A little framey round here. Get black crystals over here, which I guess shouldn't really be much of a surprise. Seems to be a lot of metal and crystal though. What is that? Is that a plant on top of that crystal? It is. And uh, obviously the lightning would be really annoying. Why am I suddenly so slow? Ooh, I don't want to be too near anything. Now I'd also read that this map has uh, raw copper ore on the on the map just to mine out of the ground for the steampunk mod. Um, and I may or may not build in steampunk. That is a prime vulture. It looks amazing. Um, <laughs> I think I might have to come and get one of those at another time. All right, I'm going to leave this little island. Let's go check out check out this place, which looks like it's uh, all cherry blossoms. Keep hearing strange noises. Seem to get parasaurs everywhere. Ah, here we go. Oh, this uh, Gigantopithecus. But also murder birds. Yeah, you get him. Knock him off. Kill him. So, we're going to want a, a Gigantopithecus soon. Oh, and bears. Bears good. Oh, this place is beautiful. Look at this. I want to build bases in all of these places. Someone growling at tall rocks. Ah, there's a platformy thing here. I'm quite tempted to build on a platform, i.e. a um like a tree platform this time round, because I haven't really, not properly. I've had platforms for certain purposes, but never as my main base. Is That's quite a big Jaboa there, isn't it? But yeah, there's lots of metal here too. There appears to be metal everywhere really on this map. It's um, other things that seem to have more specifics. What was that? A tail? It is. It's a Diplo. Stuck way up high. This map is huge. Got more areas over here. Uh, oh, actually, no. That's back towards where our base is. So we do have a wintry biome over here. So let's go and check that out now. And we're back in the snowy biome area, which looks like it's not really finished yet. There's lots of this empty geometry everywhere. So not really much to see except for to be cold. Or to be cold? Because words. So it looks like it's going to be awesome looking, like most of the map is, uh, when it's finished. So I think I'm gonna just skip over this biome and get back to the base. This looks like a redwood biome over this way. So we'll go through here, have a quick check it out, and then we'll go back to the base and check out this Colossus Scorpius. And we're back again. So this map takes me by surprise all the time. So I was correct, this is a redwood biome, but it took me longer to get to it than I thought. It was much further away than I see, uh, than I thought. And uh, it's huge, like everything else in this map is uh, is huge. So it's a big redwood biome. So though we've got the platforms anywhere mod, which means we can basically build things that we can build 
uh, platforms on. What was that? Oh, you know what? That might have been scorpion poo. Um, I've got to be careful through here because of thylacolios. In fact, was that one on the tree? No. I'm quite tempted to build in here, but redwoods are notoriously harsh to live in. What is that? Ah, could this be? No pun intended. There are bees everywhere. Let's see if I can quickly mine a bit of this. Could this be a copper node? Oh, can I? I don't appear to be able to mine it at all. So maybe it isn't. Oh, don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Oh, no. Am I stuck? Do I have a grapple? I do have a grapple. So I am stuck, but not for long. Ooh, there we go. Oh, dear. There we are. Oh, right. Okay, let's get out of here. This is really cool. Oh, wow. Like a canyon job. I wonder if there are any caves. I haven't seen any caves other than the really obvious ones down by the... Um, in the desert. Oh, what are these flowers? They're cool. Are they just... generic? Because there are some plants that give you specific berries. Oh dear! Let's uh, run away, run away! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that would be tribesmen with tribal thylacolios. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. And this is why you don't live in the Redwood. More Prime Dimorphodons here. You get the chance to tame one of these, you should. They're amazing. Except for the annoying this, when you go into first person. So if you're using a spyglass, you have to look through the enormous dimorphodon head that is up in your face. Okay, so this is a very, very, very nice looking redwood biome, and it is very large too. So if you like redwoods, then come here. It's nice. So I'm looking forward to all the places that are currently unfinished to, to have this much polish, because, um, yeah, this is quite pretty. I haven't seen anything that seemed overly broken or anything yet on the map other than the areas that aren't finished, but it would be unfair of me to judge the map on the areas that are incomplete. But purely on the areas that are complete, nice work. So just while we're getting back, just like to say thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, it would help us out a lot if you like this video to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then consider subscribing too. Uh, check out the video description for links to all of my Twitter and Facebook accounts, etc. Um, probably have a Discord server soon so that you can interact with me even more than you don't at the moment. So let's get this... Uh, Whoop. There she is, Doris. Let's make sure she's on. Oh, have to punch the air. Make sure she's on passive. Why are you not? You should be on passive. Stop following me. That's the passive button. Okay, maybe maybe if we do it this way. Let's uh, to passive. There we go better. So it came out at 2,200, which is pretty good. So nearly 100,000 hit points, nearly 9,000 stamina, oh, 6,000 weight, 1,888 melee damage and 200% movement speed, and already some levels to do. But uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Well, cheers for stopping by with me today, and until next time, I'll see you later.